Hello and welcome to a new video. If you're new here then hiya, my name is Sadie and welcome to my channel. If you like this video please subscribe before you leave and don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you enjoy it. Um, make sure you follow me on my Instagram which is Sadie B Beauty and yeah let's get straight into this video. So basically um, I've decided to vlog over the next couple of days because today is the day well not today tomorrow is the day that i'm flying to florida finally it's been a long process um i got my visa accepted on not thursday just being the thursday before and i fly tomorrow so i've also got a new camera new camera i've got a new phone so if the camera quality is better that's why um but it's a lot bigger for me to hold i need to get used to it so if i'm proper wobbly apologies so yeah tonight we're actually we're gonna drive i'm flying from manchester so we're driving to manchester and staying in a hotel overnight because i fly in the morning so we thought to save getting up really early to set off from here because it takes like almost an hour and a half to get to manchester airport and um, we would just go tonight and then have a chilled morning like be able to get breakfast and stuff so yeah i thought i would just start the vlog now include driving down to manchester and the hotel there and then obviously the flight tomorrow my foot pardon me my first couple of nights i'm in a hotel before i move in so i think this vlog will be up until moving into my actual flat in florida so it'll be me traveling the hotel when i get there etc etc and i'll basically just see you soon probably when we're packing the car through my cases i filled my cases yesterday and i was over I've got two cases. I was over the weight limit. Um, so I had to take stuff out. And then today I checked in online and it turns out I could have two more kilograms than I thought. So I'll definitely safe, definitely be safe now. But I've not put the clothes back in that I had taken out because I thought, you know what, if I thought I could take them out, I can take them out. Forget it. So yeah, see you soon. Hello again. So I've just got changed into my like airport outfit. Because there's no point in me like wearing other clothes and having to put them in my cases tomorrow. So I've just put, put it on now. So this is what I'm wearing to the airport. I just got a little white crop top. These leggings from Pretty Little Thing. Um, and I'm wearing my Nike Air Force. And I've just got a big white oversized hoodie. Which has a Pretty Little Thing on the front as well. This is my hand luggage bag. Which is a rucksack that I just got from TK Maxx literally today. Because I bought a different one from Primark and my laptop didn't fit in it. So I had to go buy another one. And then I've just got that bag, what I showed you what my sister got me. And then these are my two cases. So this one's from Primark and this one was a Christmas present. Excuse the mess, it's really bad. But they're honestly so heavy. Like, this one's not too bad. This one is so heavy and it's so big, like... I don't even know how to explain or show how big it is. It's massive. But they're each, I get 23 kilograms in each, so that's 46 altogether, so surely I'm not over 46. Hopefully not anyway. So we've just got into the car, we've got all the cases in, as you can see. My mum is driving us to Manchester to stay in the hotel, so it's really warm, you can see the sun is out sweating a little bit but we're gonna set off now and i'll show you when we get to the hotel so we've just got to our hotel room there was a road blocked on the way here and then it took us a slightly wrong way but anyway it only added like 15 minutes yeah. it, to the journey so we're here and the hotel's really nice i'll show you the room a little bit and in here We've got tea and coffee, and then I've not looked at the bathroom yet. Oh, it's nice. So, yeah, we're just gonna chill, have showers, maybe go to the bar for a drink if we fancy it. And yeah, go to bed basically, ready for the so morning. So I've just had a shower in the hotel and only slight downfall to this hotel. You know how they provide like shampoo and body wash and that they didn't give you conditioner and i thought they would and anyone with any sort of length of hair like literally longer than this well now you need conditioner to be able to get through it and i've not brought a brush so i'm literally just having to try and use my hands 
which I think it'll be all right because my hair is like quite short now, so I'll manage. But um, mum also brought all of her Tropic skincare stuff, which we love. So I've just used the cleanser, and I'm basically gonna have a little pamper. So she's brought the vitamin toner. She's brought the Skin Feast, which is basically the moisturizer. Um, and then she's brought this mini complexion kit, which has oh yeah, it has like all these little like oils or like serums and you pick one there's like all different ones so super green sun drops which is the tan one maybe i use a bit of that and then she's also brought this eye dream age defying overnight balm so i'm just gonna have a nice little pamper pamper feel nice and fresh and clean for traveling basically all day tomorrow morning so i'm at the airport I was going to vlog this morning but we thought we'd just get out of the hotel and get to the airport basically. Um, got to check in, there was a massive queue. We had breakfast and then he got called like my flight, leave the queue if you're still in it and immediately go to this other desk. Checked in, one of my bags was over the weight and they didn't like, like split it between them. Two cases, like between them they were fine but one case was over so I had to move everything around. I was rushing, they were like, oh you're boarding at five to nine and it was like half past eight. Oh no, we'd be back boarding at ten to five to ten and it was half past nine, so it was like oh my god, stressful. Um so anyway, after we got my bags in I had to sort of rush to say goodbye to my mum, which was a bit of a shame, but anyway, we said goodbye, got through security and now I'm just at the shop, so I'm gonna make my way through duty free I think, because the gates are at the other side so then I can see what gate I'm on. And just get there and chill because I'm literally sweating from rushing through security. I had to take my shoes off and everything, so yeah, I'm gonna go for duty free now. Hi, I'm at the airport. I've just got you like hid in my bag, so I hope you can hear me. I just thought I would show you what I bought in duty free. So I just got an Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray, the oil control one, because I'm gonna be very oily in Florida in the hot weather. And I also got a mini it's like a mini mac lipstick and it's velvet teddy and it's just a cute little mini one they just had them by like the counter so got one of them too as i said i'm sorry if you can't hear this very well but it's right loud and i'm just not used to vlogging in public yet so but yeah just at the airport and but the gate opens in like 20 minutes so it's not as rushed as we thought it was. They like made it seem as if like I was gonna miss my flight, like it was so rushed, like, or, do you know what I mean? And then I've got through and it's fine, like the flight's delayed by half an hour, so, love that. I'm on my way onto the plane now. So just boarding. So, I'm on the plane. It's quite big. I'm like one of the first on in this section, so no one's here yet. Don't know who's gonna be sat next to me, but. I'm by the window, which I like to be by the window, so it's all good. As you can see, I'm sweating. It's so hot. And I was lugging my two big cases, like, up hills. Well, that's what it felt like anyway. I've come in the room. The hotel's cute. Like, basically, the lobby area was really nice. Um, and where you checked in looked nice. And like, the pool looked cute. But then like, the in-between bits, like the corridors look a bit dodge. And like, the room itself looks quite nice. But like the windows and stuff aren't ideal. Like, can you see like these brown windows? That noise is the aircon, which to be honest, I'm thankful for right now. I'm sweating. There's quite a lot of stuff nearby. And on the uh, plane on the way here, they were talking about like the destinations and stuff. And um, there's like a little green bus that can take you 
to different places like along International Drive which is where this hotel is so maybe tomorrow I'll venture out but for tonight I think I'm just going to stay in the hotel it's literally so it's 20 to midnight in the UK now but here it's like 20 to 7 is that right? yeah it's 20 to 7 so like I have been really tired but now I'm here and like it's bright sunny outside I'm like I can't go to sleep I need to try and stay awake so anyway I'll do yeah a little room tour through the door here and do you see what I mean like I don't know it's alright uh, you come in and then to your left is the little cupboard here's my cases and around this side is a sink which is actually really nice I think I'm being a bit harsh that bit's nice and then in here is the actual bathroom which is fairly clean, I'm quite happy with that, it's white. It's got all your towels and everything. And then it's just like, do you know what I mean? Um, anyways, what's this? Hmm. And then back around the corner, in here, is my two beds just for me. They only had rooms with two beds left, so I've got two beds. Um, along here we've got a big TV, so I can watch some TV. I wonder if they've got, I was going to say if they've got room service so I can just order some food but then here there's a, just a mirror and there's a fridge, we'll have a look in there, a microwave and the window. So I have sat in the room for a little bit, just got the wifi on and stuff, um, back in the kitchen, anyway. So I think I might go down and sit outside, like by the pool for a bit. It's five to seven here and I want to try and stay up to like actual bedtime here. So yeah, I'm going to go downstairs, maybe get a drink at the bar or something, I don't really know. But I'm just going to have a wander and take a seat somewhere. I absolutely can't explain how hot it is outside, it's boiling. So I'm just inside as aircon and I've got a Coke. And you can't really tell, but even the bottles of Coke are like bigger. And then I've just got some pineapple and red grapes. So I've just found a little spot in the lobby where I'm gonna sit and eat this. And then I'm gonna sit outside for a bit because the pool don't close till like late tonight. So just sit out there. Whilst I'm down here, I just wanna show you the lobby area. So outside by the pool, the sun is still out and it's literally, I need to work it out. It's like quarter past seven, I think. Um, so I'm just chilling and chill here for a bit. I tried to find a space in the shade, but this was the closest I got. In fact, there's a chair opposite me. I'm just going to sit facing the other way and then the sun won't be on my face as much. I wouldn't mind, but I've not got any sun cream on and I haven't brought any, so. It's so hot. I love it. Can't wait to sunbathe tomorrow, but I need to buy some sun cream first from somewhere. So I've just come back to my room. I did stay outside for like an hour, just over an hour. It's eight o'clock now here. Um, I would have tried to stay out longer, but my eyes were just shutting and like on your, on your own, like it's hard to stay awake so i thought i'd just come back to the room because why not the pool stays open till 11 p.m that's so late in it so it's eight now but anyway i'll come back to the room i'm gonna have a shower and stuff and try and go to bed like at least after 10 which by the time i've had a shower watch some youtube videos whatever it'll be that time anyway I thought I would quickly just tell you about the plane food because I did get some little clips of the food on the plane and I actually thought it was really nice. So you got um first food they came round with was we you could have beef strog beef beef stroganoff or beef bourguignon. One or the other, essentially a beef stew. Um or chicken pasta and I got the chicken pasta. Sadly the clip for that 
meal is the wrong way around so it might be a bit fun name anyway and um, it was a chicken with pasta and a tomato sauce you got a bread roll you got a little cracker with some cheese on it and then you got a millionaire's shortbread mousse which was so nice delicious and then the next thing you got was you could have a drink so i had tea like you could have tea coffee or a cold drink for free so i had a tea oh and when you arrived on the plane there was a bottle of water waiting for you on your seat so then after the tea a while later after that they came around if you wanted to buy any snacks but i didn't buy any i just had what they gave you and then the next thing they came around with was these mini little ice like mini cornettos they were really cute so i had one of them and then after that was the afternoon tea service and you got two little finger sandwiches which not gonna lie the fillings were not ideal it was cheese savoury and then an egg and cress i did eat them but only because it were there and i was like i want it and i don't even i would never choose them flavors flavors fillings anyway i had it anyway um and then you got there was a banana oh sour cream and chive little pretzels they were really nice and then like a banana loaf slice and that was delicious as well if you like cinnamon it was like cinnamony but really nice i was impressed to be fair like that's kept me going and i've just had that through and i'm not hungry like so i won't eat anything else now i've not even finished this coke yet i've got that much left honestly you, i don't think you can you can kind of tell like the bottle's the same height as ours at home but just fire So yeah, I'm going to watch some YouTube and then I'm going to have a shower and stuff. And I'll say goodnight before I go to bed, so in a bit. Okay, it is now quarter to ten here, which means it's quarter to three a.m. at home. And I got up at seven o'clock this morning to go to the airport. So that means like in 15 minutes when it gets to 12 here, 3 at home, I will have been awake 20 hours. I did nap a bit on the plane, but like when you think about that, 20 hours is a long time. So anyway, I can't stay awake anymore. I'm going to get to sleep. I've had a shower. I've watched some YouTube videos just to try and stay awake to like an actual bedtime. So yeah, I'm going to get to sleep now because I'm so tired. And I'm not going to set an alarm, I'm just going to see how long I sleep till. And then see what tomorrow holds. So yeah, I'll see you in the morning. Good night. Good morning. It's currently half past seven. I've been awake since about seven-ish, but in bed until right now. Um, I did wake up at four, I went to the toilet and turned the aircon on, but I've managed to sleep quite well, like, till seven is a good time. So hopefully I'll, like, improve that again tonight and avoid the jet lag as much as possible. So the sun is rising over there. And it looks like it's going to be a really nice day. So I'm going to check... Oh. Um, I'm a bit shiny because I'm not going to lie, it was a bit of a sweaty night. Um, I'm going to check what time these buses run for because I'm going to get a bus into like a shopping outlet today that looks really nice. Get Just have a browse, get some lunch probably and or maybe breakfast, I don't know. And um, buy some sun cream and anything else that catches my eye and then I'm going to come back and chill by the pool, I think. I was also gonna think about filming a YouTube video today testing the Stacey Marie Carnival palette because that arrived like literally right before I set off here. So I want to test that. So I need to check what time from eight. So that's cool. So it's half seven. So I can literally get ready and go basically. Oh, I need to check what time the more actually opens so. though. But yeah, this that's the path plan for this morning. So I'm gonna, how are my legs already starting to get hairy? I literally shaved them the day we came. 
So anyway, I'm going to use the toilet, maybe have a shower um, and get dressed. Okay, so I'm up, I'm dressed, I filmed the video. It's not the best one, I don't know if I'm going to upload it, but we'll see anyway. Um, so it's 20 to 9, so I'm going to head downstairs and try and get some breakfast of some sort because I found out the um, mall outlet place doesn't open until 10. So that'll pass like an hour and then I'll try and get the shuttle thing. The only thing I'm thinking is I don't know where you get it from. I think it's out there somewhere. I'll find it anyway. I might just ask at reception. So yeah, I'm going to head downstairs and try and get some breakfast. So I came down and got some breakfast. Um, I didn't film it because there was a lot of people around, but basically had the same pineapple and grape apart from yesterday and then I got like a granola pot wobble but honestly it was so sweet I didn't finish it like the yogurt was sweet then it had honey in it the granola was like sh had sugar and stuff on it so it was just ridiculously sweet and um, I finished the fruit and then I just had a, got a bottle of water I'm just sitting in the shade for a bit until it gets to when the think you'll open and then I'll get the bus so that's there so I'm gonna nip back to the room in a minute and just get like um the bus route thing and then ask at reception I'm at bus stop across the road that's what I'm getting on that bus thing but go in the other direction first time crossing the road you know like uh the crosswalk and it like counts down how long you've got to cross so yes we're out of the hotel Getting on the bus. I'll quickly show you as well. This is the front of my hotel. So this is where I'm staying again tonight. Okay, so I'm off the bus in the outlets. I'll include a little clip in a minute of what it looks like. It's really cute. So I'm just having a wander around. I'll probably catch up with you when I sit down, like something to eat or something. So I got the bus back to the hotel, I'm at the hotel now, um, but we actually drove past the supermarket on the way here because the one thing I didn't get at the place that I was actually meant for was sun cream because no I had any. So I'm going to walk along to the supermarket that we just drove past and hopefully they'll have some there and I'll walk back along to the hotel. I'm going to go up to my room just to like change and um, put some sun cream on and I'll probably go sit outside for a bit. It's meant to rain at like three or four I think so I've got a few hours because it's half twelve now so I'll get a couple of hours by the pool probably go in the pool because I'm absolutely boiling so hey, yeah I'm back at the hotel the aircon is on I'm sweating you can't oh yeah you can't tell anyone who knows me will know that I just sweat easy like even if I do the tiniest bit of exercise I'll sweat so like in the warm, walking to that shop and back, sweating. Anyway, oh, that's nice. The aircon. I'm gonna take off these and um, probably just chuck something on that I can just chuck straight over my bikini, like a t shirt or something. Um, and I'm gonna go down. Oh, someone's on that thing. You know that ride where it flings you up in the wall? I've done that before in Bulgaria someone on it right now i've not seen anyone on it until just now i wasn't sure if it was actually working that's a big one like but yeah i'm gonna get changed and put some sun cream on here's my haul for you so i got i wasn't sure which sun cream to get so i picked the cheapest one that was factor 30 because it weren't loads of 30 there was a lot of 15 so it's this one ocean potion 30 and it was one of the only ones that said it had SPF and UVA and UVB protection. A lot of them didn't mention UVA and UVB. So anyways, and then I got a face cream as well, which is the same company, 50 face. And it says, goes on clear, matte finish, won't run into eyes. So I'm going to pop that on too. And the only thing I bought at the outlets was these earrings from Forever 21. I could have actually got quite a lot more at Forever 21, but I thought, what's the point? And they're these earrings, they're like heart hoops with pearls on. Cute. So yes, let's get pool ready before 
the rain comes. So this is gonna sound really weird, but I just had a shower in my bikini because where my, I'd been wearing black shorts that were brand new, they'd not been washed before. So obviously with it being warm and me being like sweaty and sticky, little black fluff had come onto me. So I just got in the shower to basically rinse that off and I've come out and I've got strap marks. How am I gonna actually do this? Maybe I'll flip you around and show you in the mirror. See, but I've got a strap mark here, like straight back. I hope you can see that. That was just from today, walking around today. So yes, definitely need the sun cream on now. So I am by the pool now. I've just dipped in the water. <coughs> the water's not even cold, it's like right now. One thing I keep forgetting, I forgot to take them with me today and then I forgot them just now, is my sunglasses. So I'm squinting but I can't wait to go back up for them, so... Oh well. So yeah, just chilling by the pool. I'm not sure where to go for tea tonight, there's actually a pizza hut up the road. So I could go there, or the other direction, there's an Applebee's. Which I don't really know what Applebee's is, but I know it's food. So, maybe I'll have a look online later and make a decision. So it's now like, I think it's quarter past two and um, I've been in the pool a few times, I've just come inside for an ice lolly. The original Bomb Pop Jolly Rancher. And then I've got a bottle of Coke, which I'm gonna take outside and have that there, but I'm just gonna sit and eat my ice lolly inside. Hello, so I've just got back to the room and as you can see, I've caught a bit of sun today. I didn't actually realize, you know when you don't realize that you're burning and then you, like the light must have shone on me differently. I looked at my shoulders and I was like, um, and I put some more cream on, but anyway, it's not that bad. Like I think it actually looks worse on camera than it is in person. Um, so yeah, I've come back to the room. I'm basically gonna have a bath, wash my hair and everything. Um, I'm gonna watch Love Island's reunion thing if I can get it on iPlayer and just stuff like that and then go for tea once I've got ready for tea and then after that I'm going to repack my bags and stuff so yeah I can't believe this I look like Rudolph it'll go down a bit by tomorrow though hopefully okay so I'm on the way to Applebee's I think I'm going to eat there today <clears throat> that was a bit loud so yeah I'm just walking along now I'm not that red, hopefully. Um, so yeah, I can literally see it. So I'm gonna, hoping there's a cross, oh, there is a crossing. I'm gonna cross down there because it's on the other side of the road. So see you there. So <coughs> I'm at Applebee's, which is why I've got you on this angle because it's quite a lot of people around, but basically, I'll explain the full story when I get back to the hotel, but it's been a bit of a disaster anyway. I've got a Coke and a Caesar salad on the way, so we'll see what's that. Okay, so I'm walking back from Applebee's now. <clears throat> I just crossed the road and do you know what I find really weird? That the traffic lights are just hanging on like wires. Do you know what I mean? Like it's just a wire. They were waving in the wind. Anyway, so what happened was I got there and there was I think two, three families already there. Um, so I walked in, there was a woman on like a podium, I sort of looked at her, she didn't look at me as in like, hi can I help you, looked at the people, so I just stood and waited, then next family got called up, so I sat where they were sat, she came over again, took the other family who were before, next in line, and then she came over again and she said who was next, by this point two more families had come after me, so I said the last family that was before me, so they went and then when she came over next I stood up she said come on girls and I said oh I'm just on my own she said did you check in with me and I was like what because other people had come in and just sat down as well I said uh no I came in and just waited because I'm just on my own there's some people walking past she said oh okay um I said do you want me to sit right down and she said it'll just be a few more minutes after that every other family that was there that came after me got seated first even though I'm literally one person also, all this time that we were waiting for tables, there was loads of tables free, but they weren't filling them all. And I don't, they weren't like they had bookings, like they were literally loads of empty tables. Anyway, so I eventually got sat down 
picked what I wanted and there's like an iPad on the table but no one had told me oh you need to order on the iPad or anything so I'm sat there thinking do I need to use that like what's it there for sort of thing so anyway I, I, after ages of waiting no one came over to me so I looked at the iPad and it had an order option so I clicked on that but it only had appetizers or desserts and I was thinking I don't want an appetizer or a dessert I want a main but um so I waited no I thought maybe you have to order an appetizer so I thought I'll just order an appetizer I don't want an appetizer but I'll order one then maybe it'll give you the option of ordering a main clicked on an appetizer pressed order it didn't give you the option of ordering a main as well so then I'm just gonna stop there aside. so then helicopter so then after a, a while well a few minutes after I'd done that it'd been a long time of being sat at the table this guy came over to me and he said has someone seen to you yet and I went no and he said oh let me see what's gone on here he went away a bit later woman come over and she was like oh, I'm sorry about that and she was really nice she was like what do you want by the bar she called me mama anyway so she asked me what I want she took my order uh, then later a different person brought my order over and they didn't bring me the appetizer that I'd ordered on the machine so they must have known that I didn't want that um, so a different person brought my food over didn't give me any cutlery so then I had to flag someone and say excuse me please could I have some cutlery and he went yeah sure and got me some and put that down then after that it was fine pretty much and like this the little nice one who took my order she came over a bit late and she was like how are you doing mama i can't do a voice but anyway i was like i'm good thank you i'm all right now i've got some food um so yeah it was just a bit didn't really get what was good i feel like they just forgot about me because i was on my own but anyway i got it in the end and then she cleared it and stuff and she was really friendly and so was the guy like who realized that no one had come over to me it was like concerned about it do you know what i mean it weren't like oh whatever so anyway i'm back at the hotel now so i'm back in my room now if the aircon is annoying i'm sorry i'm trying to dry my towel out because it's still wet from the pool earlier and i've got to put it in a case tomorrow hopefully it'll dry by the morning but anyway cross that bridge I can put it in a plastic bag if I need to Um, so all I'm gonna do tonight is repack my cases because obviously I've had to like get into them like they're all open so I could get to my clothes my towel and etc so I'm gonna repack try and watch Love Island thing um, and that's it really and then just go to bed fairly early Um. Oh, and upload this vlog, so that's why I'm going to end it now. So I hope you have enjoyed this. I know my mum will enjoy watching it because I want to send her a link when it's done. Um, but yeah, if you were at all interested, how funny that that bit's just stayed white. Um, if you were interested in my arrival in Orlando, then here you are. I'm sure you will have enjoyed it even this much. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and stay tuned if you want to see more of my new American life and obviously makeup as well but anyway yes please subscribe before you leave give it a thumbs up and see you next time